Um, today, I'd like to raise the issue of cancer services in this country. Uh, this week is Cancer Week, and it runs from the 25th of September till the 1st of October. Since 1996, when we first launched our first cancer strategy, Ireland has always prided itself on providing a world-class cancer service, adhering to international guidelines and best practices, and ultimately in providing our citizens with a service we could be very much proud of. However, of late we are hearing reports of a deterioration in this service, with delays in the commencement of chemotherapy programmes when we know time is of the absolute essence for oncology patients. And I have learned also of radiographer shortages in St James's Hospital, especially where surveillance scans such as MRI scans and PET scans are not being performed to monitor the progression of cancer patients. These scans were previously um, given to patients on a, on a, uh, a quarterly, year, quarter yearly basis to show whether or not um, their treatment was working and as well to show whether or not they should continue um, their chemotherapy programs, which we know are, it's, it's so tough on the body and um, you know, it's very infuriating and it's very stressful for families. Um, here, look, um, I've raised the issue of these, a lot of these issues are crew due to staff shortages and I've raised the issue of staff sh shortages in the public sector in this case previously from shortages in the armed forces to, forces, uh, to shortages in mental health services. Um, the Public Sector Pay Commission recommended that an expert be appointed to address these shortages but to date no expert has been put in place and no solutions have been offered in relation to staff shortages in the public sector. I asked the leader today to ask the Minister why this is not so, why this has not happened and I'd also like the leader to ask the Minister for Health to clarify to this House if targets for patients with cancer are being met.